Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the YouTube channel Plantastic. Today we are going to focus on the most popular used hormone which are cytokinin and ozone in plant tissue culture. Alright, what is a plant hormone? Plant hormone is a signal molecule that function and regulate the intercellular communication within the plants either individually or cooperatively with other hormones involved in the growth and development. What is a cytokinin? Cytokinin is a chemical compound which are the derivatives of the nitrogenous base adenine. Cytokinin function to stimulate the cell division in plant tissue culture. It also involved in shoot and root differentiation, apical dominance, leaf expansion, chloroplast development, and delay of senescence. The original cytokinin found was kinetin. Alright, these are the natural occurring cytokinins, which are the kinetin, transtheatin, cysteatin, 2IP, dihydrozeatin, and also zeatin riboside. So we can see zeatin is the natural occurring cytokinins as well as the kinetin and 2IP or commonly known as IP or IPA. Here are the synthetic cytokinins which are the BA or we known as BAP, autotopolin or metatopolin, 2-hydroxylbenzaldenosine, PBA, benomyl, 1,3-diphenylurea, 2-Cl4-PU, 2,6-Cl4-PU, and theodazuron TTZ. From here, the most common synthetic cytokine that can be found in most of the papers are BAP and TTZ. You may also find the rest of the synthetic cytokinins, but they are not commonly used in the research or optimization of the growth. Alright. Let's go into the mode of action in plant tissue culture. Cytokinin plays a role in stimulation of cell division by regulating the synthesis of the proteins in the mitosis, which are the mitotic spindle apparatus. Therefore, it can be involved in careless proliferation of most dicot plant together with ocin. It also promotes adventitious shoot formation through organogenesis or morphogenesis. Organogenesis and morphogenesis are the process of formation of shoot, either through direct or indirect shoot formation. Direct shoot formation is the formation of shoot. On the other hand, indirect shoot formation, which means that the shoot was formed on the callus. Alright, it also involves in embryogenesis. Embryogenesis is the formation of embryos, which gives rise to the bipolar growth and develop into a plantlet. There will be a video on the difference between the organogenesis and embryogenesis in detail in future, so we are not going to discuss in detail here. Low concentration of cytokinin, which are around 0.5 to 2.5 micromolar, was found to be very effective in the induction of embryogenic callus, especially in the broadleaf plant. Alright, let's move on into the ocin. What is an ocin? Ocin is quintessential plant hormone. It is the first plant hormone to be discovered among all the hormones. It is synthesized in meristematic regions and actively growing organs such as collateral abyssus, root tips, germinating seeds, and apical buds of growing stems. Alright, here are the natural occurring ocins, which are the IAA, 4 coral indo 3 acetic acid, phenyl acetic acid, indo 3 butyric acid, which is known as IBA. Commonly, you can see IAA and IBA in most of the papers. Here are the synthetic ocins, which are NAA, dicamba, 24D, 245T. Here, you can find most of the papers are using NAA and 24D. However, you also can find dicamba, in which it was mentioned in another book, stated that dicamba is very effective in stimulating the callus formation in monocot. The mode of the action of ocin are ocin signal perception, ocin signal transduction pathway, and ocin regulated gene expression, 
We are not going to discuss the fundamental mode of action of OSINT in this video. If you are interested to find out more about the fundamental part, you may refer to my reference at the end of this video. Let's see what are the functions of OSINT at physiological effects. At cellular level, it can stimulate the cell elongation, cell division, bud initiation, and growth together with cytokinin. At tissue and whole plant levels, it can stimulate the differentiation of vascular bundles, which consists of volume and xylem, stimulate the formation of buds and roots, promote adventitious root formation, and also involve in apical dominance. In plant tissue culture, osin are often used in the induction of callus, which it can genetically program the physiology of the plant tissue, stimulate the organ cultures, which promote the initial growth of meristem and shoot tip as plant. It also promotes the rhizogenesis and development of lateral roots. Osin plays an important role in embryogenesis, whereby high osin levels such as 24D is commonly used in the induction of embryogenesis. However, in which I came across a book of embryogenesis whereby there is the term referred as Osin shock. The Osin 24D was supplemented at 1000 micromolar for a short period of time to supply the Osin at very high concentration to the cell which gave it an Osin shock. However, the embryos will not develop further into the plantlets until the osin concentration is reduced. Therefore, from the book I read before, it often subculture after the osin shock onto the basal media or the media with activated charcoal to absorb the 24D content from the cells before it can further develop into the plantlets. Here is a general interaction between the osin and cytokinin. From here, we can see that at high osin concentration and low cytokinin concentration, root formation on cuttings will be induced. And very low osin concentration and high concentration of cytokinin, axillary shoot proliferation in shoot culture will be observed. However, all these interactions are general information. As I mentioned before, the interactions of the osin and cytokinin are depending on the plant genotype and the S plant you use. We are about to end our video here. Don't forget to subscribe, share and hit up the notification button for subsequent videos on plant science. You may also find me at the LinkedIn profile for the connection. This is not a sponsored video and I would like to share with every one of you the reference I used in this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.